Man, I want to thank my teammates, uh, Coach Hammond, Mark, the ACES organization, and obviously the WNBA as well, and just every single person who makes this incredible team just go day in and day out. Their work never goes unnoticed. Uh, obviously, I want to thank my parents so much for just everything that they've done, the sacrifices that they've made, uh, holding me accountable in times where you could have just kind of let me find any drug, but that's always good. Uh, I also obviously want to thank South Carolina and Coach Daly and my agent Jade and my team as well at Clutch, uh, Clutch Sports. I truly wouldn't be standing here today without the hard work and the sacrifices made by all of those people. And I promise you, I didn't even know half of the people that I really, truly love. Basketball has helped me achieve things that I never dreamed I could. Uh, to be named MVP is a tremendous honor. It's humbling to walk a path paved by so legends, so many legends of this game. Those who made, you know, this league what it is today. And for me to stand up here with my third one. So shout out to the legends because they really did their thing, their big one, with paving the way for young guns like me to thrive in. On my best days and on my worst, I pray that I'm worthy of all the blessings that have come my way. I hope the fans know that I see every message, every TikTok they make, and still, even the white tees and the silver hair, I love you all. The fact that anything I do gives to another person and another Black girl the small bit of hope, that's what keeps me going. Keeps me trying to be the best that I can be always. In my seventh season, I love this game more than ever. And I know y'all, everyone in this room knows that I will not be satisfied if I cannot compete at a high level and go try to win us another one. So it's playoff time. It's the real time. And I'm just honored. And I'm so thankful to be up here. This is this is such a blessing to be up here. Not just my third time. Yes. But as a whole, this league is incredible and full of elite women. So I'm glad that I could just be a part of the 144 and soon to be some more teams and some more people. <laughs> so, no, thank you guys so much. This is truly special. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's do it. My feet hurt, so we're going to have to make this little <laughs> Asia, congratulations. And I remember we all saw that video um, from the level and, yeah. and the tears. And, and <laughs> I guess now, four years later, how does it, it feel? A lot has happened since then, but that comparison of winning your first versus your third. Yeah, um, I feel like my tear ducts are just, they've been working all week pretty much. I feel like I've been crying so much since why I've just trained myself not to cry today, but. It's still it's still the same feeling. It's still surreal it, because I know how hard this league is uh, to just be successful and to sustain your your greatness in a league like this is hard. So it really is nothing much different. It's still the same feeling, the same butterflies. Um, but yet the, the, the fun of it all is something that I never want to lose sight of. So the first one was something special. And I think the biggest difference is my first was kind of like, OK, I, I kind of got my name in the, in the record books, the history books for this league to now. I'm like, I feel like I fully established myself in a league that I dreamt of playing in. So it's it's something that's truly special and still surreal. Thank you. Bye. What would you say to younger you, going even farther back than, yeah. than the first one, but, you know, as you fell in love with basketball yeah. and, and started seeing, you know, a future in it, did you ever imagine three oh, and a unanimous? And what would you say to that girl? Man, uh, not at all. I wouldn't imagine this at all. I would, I would just be happy with making through a training camp roster, you know, because I know how hard it is to be great. Um, but my biggest thing that I would tell younger Asia is just give yourself some grace. I feel like at a young age, we tend to put a lot of pressures on ourselves because of the outside world um, that we see. And we feel like we have to catch up and we have to look and talk a certain way just to survive in this in this world. And we lose sight of our true self, our true well-being and what we're set, our purpose on what we're set to do in this world. And that's to thrive in wherever we want to be in. And so I think I would just tell young Asia, give yourself some grace, girl. It may not always look the prettiest, but know that you are put on this earth, God has put you on this earth to be special and, and love on that and, and understand it's okay to be different. It's okay to have days where you don't feel like getting up out of bed, but you're going to be you and you're going to love that. And, and I've been caught up in people pleasing and imposter syndrome and all of that. And it's hard. It's the, it's sometimes it's the life, but once you realize who you are from within, no one can shake you from that. And sometimes you got to give yourself some grace. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Asia, uh, back. So this is your third MVP trophy. Yeah. Is there through the for you? Is this your third one? Is there anything different about winning this one? And also, back at T-Mobile Arena, Kelsey Plum sort of called your shot that you're going to win it. Was there any dialogue between you two after it was announced? Yeah. 
Oh man, KP's gonna always speak her mind, and that's why I love her the most. Uh, so we really didn't talk much because whatever KP says goes pretty much. So I was uh, appreciative that she even would say things like that. Um, so yeah, no, we really don't talk about this type of stuff because it's it's me doing my job. I'm not in it for just like oh, all the shiny things. Like this is great, uh, but but the the biggest message in the work is with the work that needs to be done. How can I be better? How can I be a better teammate, leader, person? Like that is the true trophy. Um, so I think that is just the the biggest difference between this one and the other ones. Is this one silver? It's a little chrome. She's got a little top button going on, um, <laughs> which is cute. Uh, but no, the the trophy in itself is something something tangible, but it's the untangibles that I really like to focus on and just the reality of just keep working hard. Hard work truly pays off. Uh, I've got a question from uh, had kind of a tough doubleheader with our locals today. <laughs> um, just want to ask you about how this time last year we were talking about someone voting you fourth yeah. and how you use that to motivate for the, uh, for the championship. <laughs> Did that motivate you individually this year and how important is it to get it out of the way so it's not like yeah. focus on looking at yeah, I've probably answered this question a gazillion million times. <laughs> um, but no, uh, obviously everyone knows about the fourth place vote. And it's something that I, I did kind of harp on in the beginning. But right around February-ish was pretty much when I kind of let it go. I kind of had like a eureka moment where I'm just like, you know what? Get out of my feelings. Like, get, put, put in the work, Asia. Uh, make people leave no doubt about who you are and who you want to be in this league. And I think that is kind of what's the turning point for me, uh, where, I, yeah, I harped on it a little bit, but at some point it's kind of like, all right, Asia, give it up. Like, stop being sensitive. It is what it is. And I think once I did that and I started to tap into this mode of, like, no, I need to be great, not just for myself but for my team, uh, that's what kind of just got the season that we had today. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was really one of those things where I, I used it as fuel, but uh, it, it wasn't something that was just gonna define me in this season. Like I, I've worked my behind off to get to where I am today uh, with or without that fourth place vote. Uh, so I really don't even wanna talk about it anymore because we are unanimous. <laughs>